Good morning. I want to talk a little bit about free will or the idea of choice. Robbie and I were having an interesting discussion on this last night. And it's kind of simple. Most people complicate it. It's not complicated. So you have the manifest portion of your life, which is everything that appears here, and which appears in a linear fashion, one after the other, each inextricably linked, each event, so to speak, inextricably linked to the prior and the following. You can see this just by taking a video. <laughs> you take a video, you can look at every single bit and aspect in that video and there was one happening, there was one event, it was very exact and precise, and there was nothing else going on there. So if you only had the manifest reality, like what happens, there's no free will, there's no choice. That's obvious. Where the choice and the free will comes in is in your mind, in your imagination. Because then you have, oh, I could have done this, I could have done that. I can move my hand like this. No, I can move it like that. No, I can blink. So in your imagination, you have a multitude of options in every given moment. But what comes out, what actually gets manifested is just one. Okay, so that's where the idea of free will and the idea of choice comes in, in the imagination, not in the manifest. Now, to take it one step further, because you need to take it one step further to see what it really is, you have to go to witness or observer mode and uh, witness or observer mode sees the manifest and the thought structures that belie it or underlie it as one so the manifest is one if you s mentally separate it out from the thought structures And the thought structures, the, oh, I have this choice, I have that choice, all these possibilities. That's another aspect. So you put those together and you have the feeling of choice. But if you back up and remove yourself another step from those two structures, then you see that the manifest reality actually doesn't just include just the linear timeline that's happening, it includes every single thought and idea of a choice and feeling that passed through you during that manifest reality. And that was all one as well. Every thought came in a specific order, every feeling came in a specific order, and it was linear, and it was one. So from that point of view, free will and choice is kind of a joke. What free will and choice is really is to me is it's the feeling. It's the feeling of freedom. Because if you just look at the manifest and if you include the thoughts and everything as observer mode in the manifest, then everything just has to happen exactly how it happens. And you say, well, I had a choice, I had a choice. Well, yeah, you're saying that I had a choice was part of the manifest. Is part of it. Anyway, that's my little two cents on free will. And I gotta go. But hope everybody's doing well.